well, it's December. Christmas is coming. So, as we all know, it's Jesus' birthday. And what a better game to play than I Am Jesus Christ. The next uh, great game of the holidays. Yep. It's the next big thing. Uh, get away, Elden Ring. Get away, um, Cyberpunk 2077. This is the hypest game of the end of 2022. No joke. <laughs> so, let's actually, let's actually try it out because this is a prologue version. It's like a demo. This is not the full game. The full game comes out next year. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in February or such, or March. Uh, possibly, possibly in time for Easter. I think that's the intention. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look. So, welcome to I Am Jesus Christ Prologue. The prologue version doesn't represent the final look of the game. You may experience bugs, glitches, errors, and frame rate dips. Yep, okay. And, uh, they want feedback on the demo version on their forums, and all that. Um... So yeah, meanwhile, we are wishing you good luck and great time during during playing I Am Jesus Christ. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm excited because normally biblical games, they're not as good. They're normally more focused on the educational part rather than the game part. Uh, but I Am Jesus Christ, from what I've read on the store page, seems different. So let's actually go ahead. And play it. And now, I'm not a religious person, but um, but if you read uh, the stuff of you know the story behind Jesus and uh, the Bible stories, Jesus Christ is is basically a superhero. He's Superman. He's he's ancient Superman. So I think that represented in a, in a video game has to be amazing. So let's have a look. Let's start a game and let's see what the prologue version. Has to offer. So, which mode would you like to play? Gameplay mode is recommended for people familiar with video games, while story mode is recommended for people new to video games. Well, I am a seasoned veteran, so let's go with gameplay. Ooh, chapter 1. So, John 1-1. One, one. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, press enter to begin first level. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. An angel of the Lord appeared and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. 
When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. There we go, epic backstory. The birth of a superhero. Let's go. Nazareth is the largest city in the northern district of Israel. Nazareth was a Jewish village during the Roman Byzantine period and is described in the New Testament as the childhood home of Jesus. According to the Bible, Jesus grew up in Nazareth from some point in his childhood. However, some... Well, uh, uh, it up. 30 years later. All right, now he's, he's, he's grown. He's grown. The savior, the chosen one. Here we go, the awakening of Jesus. That is the first quest that we get. I should talk to my mother, all right? And we got a compass. <laughs> we got a compass at the top of the screen as if it were some kind of uh, um, shooter game. <laughs> first person savior, FPS. First person savior game, yeah? Ooh. Right, well, I have to say the graphics aren't revolutionary. Somehow it seems, I don't know, they're like people are very static. Yeah, uh, you see, if 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 that's the first thing that that you know that um, that I observed, it's like this looks like lifeless. Uh, these people should be walking around, you know, doing their own business. That is feedback that I actually provide to the developers. Yeah, yeah, people should be minding their own business, doing stuff. I think. Anyway, here's Mama Mary. Yes, Jesus. Uh, I have been awoken by an angel in a dream. I have been told that it is my time and I must begin my life's purpose by searching out for John 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 the Baptist, yeah. Uh, here we got a grammar mistake. Uh, mm. We have also we have been also visited, been visited by, by angels okay. throughout our lives. You say so. I do truly believe that your time has come, my son. I have heard of John the Baptist as well. Do you know where he is? I was at the market the other day and I heard a vendor at a fruit stand discussing with his friend regarding John the Baptist. It would be best to begin your search there. All right, I'll ask around. So I have to say, the voice acting is actually it's actually decent. It's good. I like it. Um. Oh, okay. So we got dude walking around. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know anything about John the Baptist, sir? Hmm. He's a great man. Many of his supporters have been looking around for him lately. If you find where he is, please let us know. Okay, peace be with you, brother. All right. Um. Yeah, let's let's uh let's explore. Many people have attempted to write about the things. Okay, that's a, uh, a quote. Now I have to say that the performance in the game is quite bad. I don't know if it's because I got OBS recording at the same time, but I mean. For the graphics and uh, for the for the kind of stuff that we're seeing on the screen, performance should be uh, pretty high. I mean, if we check the FPS counter, um, averaging between 40 and 50 FPS. Uh, yeah. Nazareth Market. Okay, we got some animals. Hello, sheepy. Oh, wow, the, sh the sheep models look pretty good. This is, pro this is possibly uh, the best sheep model I've seen in a video game. <laughs> no joke. Actually, look. 
That that wall looks realistic. Mm. Alright, so let's go look for John the Baptist. Jesus is getting impatient. Let's, let's speed run this. Yeah. Oh. Over here. Yeah, uh... There's not much life in in Nazareth, as I as I can see. People are just, you know, standing still. It would be really amazing if people were walking, patrolling around, you know. Right, it's just okay. So yeah, I have to ask random people. Let's see, lady. Hmm. Do you know anything about John the Baptist? Sorry. Okay. All right. Sorry. All right. Hmm. What about you? Do you know anything? Hmm. I recall a vendor speaking about him in the market the other day. Follow me, I'll guide you to him. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's the guy. Alright, thank you. Hmm? Uh, I've heard a fruit vendor in this market knows John the Baptist. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know John the Baptist, but the other man who runs this fruit stand does. He lives on the other side of town in a small house. I'm sure you can gather some information from him. Is there anything else you need? No, thank you. All right. All right. Okay. Please be with you. You can move faster and reach your destination quicker by using shift. Sprinting Jesus. Here we go. It's sprinting Jesus time. They actually put a tool tip to tell you, hey, you can do parkour with Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, imagine Jesus sprinting down the hill in search of John the Baptist. Well, his friend. Oh, I like the landscape. The landscape is nice. It does seem like uh, Israel. Nice. Yeah! I want to know about John the Baptist! Let me in! Oh, I can see full body Jesus. That's great. Sprinting Jesus. At least he was athletic. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. Who, who here knows about John the Baptist? You. You. You, sir. Hmm? I am looking for the man who knows John the Baptist. Hmm. Why, yes, I do know him. I have been following his activities in the wilderness as of lately and have been baptized by him myself. Do you wish to know his whereabouts? I need to find him. Yes, he is who I am looking for, and I need to locate him. I certainly hope you are not an enemy of his. Are there a lot of people who want him dead or believe that he is crazy? You can head out of town to the east near the market and continue following down the path and then into the wooded area which leads to the Jordan River. This is where John the Baptist tends to be around and will do baptisms in this area regularly, usually during the day. All right, thank you. Right, I can promise you that I am no enemy of John the Baptist. I'm just a sprinting Jesus who wants to find him as fast as possible. Oh, and uh, we just teleported somewhere. Report to Mary about what you've learned. All right. Mama, mama, mama. Oh, she, what? Did did her hair color just change? I would swear she was blonde. I'm going to have to revise the video footage later, but <laughs> I would swear she was blonde. Yes, Jesus. Uh, I now know where John the Baptist is. Okay, he's out in the wilderness. Yes. Eastern path out of Nazareth. I'm glad you found his whereabouts. I believe he'd be doing his baptismal in the morning, so you should wait until tomorrow morning to head out there. Okay. Go ahead and get some more rest. You seem a bit tired still. Mm, okay. I, I, I want to go find him now. But yeah, get inside the house and take some rest before your journey tomorrow. All right. Uh, but wait a moment. Wasn't that my house? Okay. All right. So here's some bugs. We got a notification that says Mary. But Mary's here. That is my house, that's where I came out, and then I got another notification over there, 100 meters. What, what is this trying to tell me? Uh, okay, this, this is a weird bug. Uh, let's go inside though, because I know that this is the correct thing to do. Nazareth means a watchtower, or a sprout. The latter part of the name likely refers to the hillside that sloped near the town or the hill right behind the town. Modern day Nazareth is nestled in a natural bow, which reaches from 320 meters above sea level to the crest of the hill to about 488 meters. Nazareth is about 25 kilometers from the Sea of Galilee and about nine kilometers west from Mount. All right, and it's gone. Uh, another suggestion, it, like if we're gonna add loading screen tips that are long like that or curiosities, it would be nice that it would say, press any key to continue. So that way, once it's loaded, I just press the key and I finish reading, you know? 
Um, if they were shorter, yeah, an automatic loading screen skip like that would be nice, but uh, since they're pretty long to read, I would appreciate a press this key to continue thing. Okay, report to your mother before leaving to find John the Baptist. Hello. Okay, is, does she have brown hair now? Okay, m maybe it's just the lighting. <laughs> yes, Jesus. I'm ready to search for John the Baptist. Let's go. I see. I know it is your time to fulfill your mission, but I will miss you, Jesus. There was a man who stopped by earlier saying that he's a supporter of John the Baptist. I guess word got around that you're going to John the Baptist. He's waiting for you at the exit out of the city. Okie dokie, I'll miss you too, Mama. Please take care, peace be with you, I shall return. I shall return! This, uh, Joseph? I guess he is. Alright, let's go! Sprinting Jesus! Da -da 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 -da. Parkour! Assassin's Creed style, let's go! Yeah, in the middle of the night. <laughs> whoa, whoa, come on, Jesus! There we go! Let's see how we jump over this wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, speed runs of this game have to be really funny. <laughs> I would love to speed run this game in the full version with a parkouring Jesus. There we go. There we go. Let's go. I think we can shortcut through this through this stairway. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we can shortcut. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. Oh, oh, no. What? I can't jump over it. No, oh, oh man. All right, that's important to know for future speedruns. You can't actually jump that fence for some reason. But we can jump the uh, the stone walls. Oh, 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 this one's too high. Okay, let's jump. Jump on the cart. Jump, jump, jump on the cart. There we go. There we go. All right, so uh, at least I can jump on the cart. Next time I can just angle it from the left. Jump on the cart, jump over the wall. Good to know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about speedrunning. But, but it, uh, it's just the fact that Jesus sprints in this game everywhere is, is lovely. Okay, mysterious ally. Hello. Hello there, sir. Hello, Jesus. Oh, you know my name. Are you the man who has prepared something for me? I'm heading out to find John the Baptist. Are you the man who has prepared something? Yes, I have prepared some food for you for your journey. You'll need it, especially in the heat of the day. Please take a few snacks of mine. I'm a shopkeeper here, and I'm preparing to set up shop for the day, so I thought I'd give you some help before you go to be baptized by John the Baptist. Wow, that's very kind of you. Peace be with you. Leave Nazareth by following the road out of the market. Okay, so, uh... Seems like a long way to go, so let's sprint it! Sprinting Jesus, let's go! Alright, here, here's the same data as before, so at least I can finish it now. In 2019, its population was 77,445 people. Nice. Hey, this is the same. The same book with quote that we saw before. Oh, In the beginning was the word. this is the same was video. God, and the word was God. Okay, can I skip it? Nope. He was with God in the beginning. Wait. Through is that it? Things were made. Is that the prologue? Without him, nothing was made. That, that is the prologue. In him no, please. Tell me that there's more gameplay. And that life was the light of all okay, I skipped it magically by pressing enter space several times. But we're starting again. We're starting again. I have to make sure. Is this... Is this is this the whole prologue? Really? I was expecting like uh, I don't know, maybe uh, get the baptism done, maybe perform uh, a couple of miracles to see the miracle gameplay that they are advertising. Thirty years later, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, the Holy Spirit is gonna tell me that I have to find John the Baptist. I know that. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. So I'm here again. Uh, the game crashed. I had a, uh, a, a game engine crash, uh, saying something about Unreal Engine 5 failed, and uh, 
I, thanks to that message, I know that this is being developed in Unreal Engine 5, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I just recorded it again, because, yeah, yep, Mary is blonde <laughs> at the beginning, and then she turns, uh, uh, her, her, her hair color just changes all of a sudden, so that's important to know. But anyway, it crashed. I'm going to start again, because I did see online that there is more to the prologue, so I'm just going to speed run this initial bit, and I'll see you in a moment. Hallelujah, pun intended. I got this working, again. <laughs> it took me like three million tries, and I changed the settings. I changed it from, from 2K resolution to 1080p. I changed the graphics from ultra to low to high. I, I did, I play, I replayed chapter one, like at least 10 times. And uh, the thing that fixed it in, 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 like for a strange reason, was uninstalling the game and installing it again on a different drive uh, which I don't know why uh, the initial drive was an SSD and this second drive where I installed it is also another SSD uh, they're both NVMe M2 SSD drives and uh, on the second one it works so now you can select the chapter and uh, you can actually see a collection of the quotes that uh, you picked up here's chapter one that's great. Let's go into chapter two, finally. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. John wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. And this was his message. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. You should eat before heading towards the Jordan. It seems like we got some new interface elements up there. We got a silhouette of Jesus and uh, a bar, which I am not sure what it symbolizes right now. So press I in order to open your inventory. Afterwards, you can use the right mouse button while hovering over food to eat. Okay, so... Oh, here are the berries. Oh, so that is Jesus' hunger meter. Okay. Let's eat a bit more. Thank you for the berries. Head straight through the rain towards the Jordan River and find John the Baptist. Okay. Like a good athletic man that I am. Let's run! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Athletic Jesus. Okay, let's go over the hill. Oh wow, he's far. He's quite far away. All right, fantastic. So we got some survival elements in the game as well. So we have to pick up berries uh, to keep our hunger meter filled up. We got some more berries here. Actually just pack a few more just in case. You never know when you can need them. Some guys here like waiting for their turn. I'm just gonna skip the queue. All right. Hello. The Messiah. Oh yes, that's me. I've come to be baptized. By you, John. I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? Oh yeah. That is true. Uh, I remember that it's Jesus who actually baptizes John afterwards. I shall do as you say, Lord. All right. Let's get you some holy water. I baptize you having authority from God as a demonstration of your commitment to His holiness. Hold left click. To pray and gain spirit. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go with the cool stuff. Let's pray then. I'm gaining spirit power. The Holy Spirit is imbuing my body. I'm 
and a voice came from heaven. You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Okay, so Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Let's go into the desert, boys. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for forty days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of them he was hungry. Well, obviously. <laughs> After 37 days of fasting and praying in the desert, here we go. I'm gonna get a temptation. You are starving and must head to each prayer location indicated by the God rays and pray in order to survive in the desert. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Blessed are those who are spiritually needy. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Blessed are those who are sad, they will be comforted. Blessed are those who are humble, they will be given the earth. Oh, beloved child of God, you must prepare for your trial ahead. You will be tempted and fall by the fallen one, Satan. Repel these blasts I throw at you. Do not worry. They cannot hurt you. Okay, so use the left mouse. Okay, to repel blasts. Okay. Shoot me. Nope. Alright. Wow, yeah, that's cool. Wow, okay, that, that was cool. Yeah. I wonder how Jesus has so much energy to run. 37 days without eating. He, he, he feasts on Holy Spirit to get wherever he needs. Oh, so we advance the day. It's day 38 now. Okay, so I, I guess every circle symbolizes a day that we have to go through. If you notice, I was able to dodge your blasts with ease before. You must draw the enemy closer. So they are unable to dodge your blasts. Okay. So, yeah, right click is to bring them closer. Alright. I will now refill your health. Oh, yeah. I love it. This is, this is acting like a tutorial to your powers for the rest of the game, I guess. During your battle, you may need to recharge. Pray and recharge. So you are able to overcome any trials that lie ahead of you. Yeah, that's right, because our Holy Spirit thing uh, gauge is empty, so I have to use R to recharge. Oh, yeah. R, like reload, like in, a, <laughs> like in an FPS. First person savior game. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over there. That seems to be the last ring, because it's day 39. People heard the prophets you must who lived now long ago. use all of this together before going ahead. So use your abilities and combinations in order to repel three of my blasts and strike me. Okay, test me. Okay. Oh, you got me. Recharge some holy power. Okay, very close by. Gotcha. Too 
Mm, why? Tell me only why you want to save all those humans. You don't deserve that, and believe me that at the end, they will betray you and kill you. This is your last chance to join me, and we can be the most powerful kings in this world. Well, we don't have to do this the hard way. But if you insist... Okay, oh wow, we're finding Satan. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I'm here. Alright, this reminds me a little bit of fighting Ganondorf in Zelda. Similar mechanics. Oh, alright, he's really hurting me. Okay. Gotcha. Alright. There you go. Just gotta time it correctly. Oh, he's far away. Get over here. Just like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat would say. He's close. Gotcha. Don't run. Fight me. Face me, Satan. Oh, alright. Come here, don't escape. I gotcha. And I finished you. Alright. You win this time. But I know that my opportunity shall arise again. And I will come again. Oh, I'm sure of that. You will not stop me in this world to take humans' souls. As I said, people who you love will betray you. And kill you. I will wait for my time to come. I, I love the foreshadowing that they do. So hold up, hold up. The video is getting a bit too long. Uh, so I'm going to separate the Jesus Christ prologue into two. This would be part one. And part two will be coming up soon as I finish the prologue. Uh, definitely. So stay tuned to the channel. And we will see the epic conclusion to I Am Jesus Christ Prologue.